Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well and I really hope you guys are happy. I am doing amazing. It has been a while since I brought you guys a decorate with me video, but I'm super excited to be bringing this one today. Today we are going to be refreshing our dining room, which is long overdue child. <laughs> As you guys know, we will be adding a little one to our family very soon. So I've had the urge to just get our entire home together. So you guys will get a lot more of these videos just to remind you of the style and the direction that we were going in previously here is what the dining room looked like prior to us deciding to change it i did pick that set up from wayfair and the lighting fixture was the builder grade that we um originally had from building the home i got those trees those trees actually transitioned to our backyard patio if you haven't seen that video i'll link it down below they look great outside um, but yeah, the table set was from Wayfair. It was a nine piece set, including the table and the rug was from Overstock. I really liked how it looked at the time. My mom is so in love with it. It's more of a rustic feel. And I'm not sure if that's the direction I was wanting to go with or if it was the colors that I actually liked, but it started feeling dated and I wanted to just go ahead and give this area a complete refresh. Now I'm starting with cleaning off these blinds because you guys, they are so dusty. I did a project in here and it just blew dust everywhere. I will never do that again. If you guys can see, this towel is disgusting. So I did take a little bit of extra time off camera to make sure the blinds were cleaned properly. And I also had hubby um, clean our wall molding while I dusted and cleaned off this artwork. I actually got this artwork from Wayfair. Now this wasn't the original painting that's inside. I took them down and I just wanted something more simple so I just painted it black and added some black specks to it but these are definitely going to be changed I just have to find some artwork that's going to go perfect with the style and the direction we're going in now I wanted to give you guys a really quick show of the bump we are definitely bumping and getting out there baby is almost ready to get here but we're still cooking and I have been enjoying this pregnancy to the fullest I am not gonna lie taking all the advantages that I can take but you guys I am completely in nesting mode and I am just so ready to get this house together so that when baby get here I can rest and just enjoy my new life in motherhood so let's go ahead and get back to refreshing this dining room <laughs> Of course, it would not be a house to home video if I did not include a little bit of cleaning. I definitely wanted to give our floors a little attention because of that project that I did complete in here. I started off by sweeping the floors with the regular broom with the bristles just so I can get up any extra dust that wasn't collected after I cleaned up. Then I went over the floors with the cordless vacuum. As you can see, hubby always has to interrupt me. He's showing you guys that it is his football season. Go Texas. That is his team. <laughs> After that, I went ahead and wet mopped our floors with a wood solution. And then I dry mopped it using a little bit of wood shiner, wood cleaner. And I do it that way um, just so that I can dry the floors completely because these are real wood floors and I don't want them to buckle at all. And also, it helps uh, prevent any scratches, any scuffs, and it gives them a little bit of shine. For nothing, just give it up. I'm not your girl, cause I only love me. Don't get me wrong. You and I could have fun together when I feel done. With having fun on my own, it's better to care for yourself than rely on somebody else. So don't get me wrong. I'm just riding alone. Just walk. So here's the rug that I actually picked up from Amazon and I could tell by the packaging that this was a really really nice quality rug I've been so scared this is rug number four so yes I've been experiencing rug gate and I just haven't found the rug that will look right with the direction that I'm going in and as well as how dark our floors are and I think this rug might actually do the job I'm super excited for you guys to see how everything turns out 
Now the rug was actually kind of heavy. It is more on the thinner side, which is exactly what I was looking for. However, I'm not sure if it's me and the baby, but this rug was pretty heavy. So I definitely had to recruit hubby during his breaks so that he could actually come and help me position this rug um, properly because it was pretty heavy and a lot for me to just keep bending over and trying to drag, making sure everything was straight. I feel like I did better with uh, coordinating that position. And Babe was telling me actually how comfortable the rug was underneath his feet. So I wanted to do a little vacuuming, but I also wanted to kick my shoes off and just see how soft the rug was because he kept bragging. And when I tell you guys, this rug was actually extremely soft. Uh, the colors are vibrant. The colors actually look great against the dark wood floors. They have a little bit of light blue, like our bar stools in the kitchen, black grays, a little bit of that toffee cream color, and of course white. Also a little bit of auburn and burnt orange. I'm really thinking that this might be the rug, but who knows, you guys let me know what you think once you actually see everything together. I also wanted to pop in really quick and show you guys this chandelier that I was actually sent from Wayfair. When I say that this chandelier is huge, it's really, really beautiful, and it's the same color that the current chandelier is right now. I'm just kind of torn in between which one I should actually hang. So you guys let me know, should I keep this current one or should I hang the new chandelier up? So guys, this is our new table and I purchased this table from Wayfair. I am completely in love with it, though I did have some malfunctioning issues with the table. The height was a little bit off, so I had to add some table lifts that I purchased from Amazon just to get it to the height that I needed it to be and it worked perfectly. Now Wayfair did make my order right. Like I said, it was some blemishes and a little malfunctioning on the order side. So I just went ahead and decided to keep the table. I wanted to go ahead and add these curtains that I picked up from Amazon. They're just um, a, a cotton curtain, but it's like linen and these are the same curtains that I actually have in the dining nook area in the kitchen I really really liked how the curtains turned out in there so I'm just kind of trying them um, in here and if I don't like them I'll just take them down and possibly put up another color I know for sure that I have to change out those paintings the wall sconces and possibly the light fixture so this is really like a test run I guess you would say so let me know what you guys think about everything so far down in the comments below tell me what your name is tell me what you like and all your secrets I just want to go over the details let me inside of your mind I know I just met you but something tells me that you might be into talking to a stranger with a tattoo Baby, I'm another kind There's a reason we're here There's a vibe in the air That neither you and me could deny Well, I see how you stare Up and down everywhere I can tell you're far from shy So let's talk Till we drop Or till we get kicked out Let's just say What we want No 
I wanted to properly dust off the table and brush off the rug with my cordless vacuum a little bit. I also wanted to go ahead and add a little greenery. I think every single room in your house deserves a little greenery and I am not the best plant mom ever. So you know me, I'm gonna find me a good faux plant. I got this plant from Target a few years back. I'm not sure if it's still in stock, but I'll try to find a leaf if I can. I really, really like how uh, the tree just pops that um, greenery right in that corner. It looks so much better than those two trees that I had prior. I'm just adding the chairs that I introduced in our last formal dining updated video. Now I did get these chairs from World Market and I will link them down below. These chairs do roll but trust and believe when you sit in them they are very sturdy. I highly recommend these chairs. I decided to get all arm chairs because I, I just like the look a lot better. It gives it a sleek and a modern look and I think they pair really well with this table. I also think it goes perfectly with the rug because the rug has that same color of the chairs inside of the table so when I say this actually might be the rug I think rug gate is completely over this actually might be the rug but I'm not 100% sure until we find some good artwork I just want to step back and admire how um, everything looks so far and kind of tell myself what I need to get what I don't need to get before we start decorating the table so let's talk till we drive or do we get kicked out? Let's just say what we want. Come on, spit it out. You and me both got the time to try to get to know each other's minds. So let's stop till we drop or till we get kicked out. Now this is actually my favorite portion is decorating and styling the table. You guys also know that this is something that I truly struggle with. So if you have any suggestions, I'm always open to them down in the comment section. Um, I love, when I say I am in love, I am totally in love with this gray uh, vase, vase, whatever you wanna call it. I got it from Home Goods, and all the other vases and bowls came from Home Goods as well. This vase was only $30, and that is in comparison to the size, the, the style of it and the color, those vases could run you anywhere from $180 to about $400. And I'll just link some down below so you know that I am not kidding you. When I say both of these vases, this cream vase that I'm showing you guys, as well as that gray vase was only $30 at Home Goods. so shout out to them. I also got those tulip flowers. They are faux flowers. I got them from Amazon. I ordered, I think they came in a bunch of 30 and I ordered three of them, so there's about 90 flowers in there give or take the sticks came from Amazon and the bowl came from home goods as well as the beaded chain that I'm gonna set inside of this bowl came from Amazon so it was pretty much a one-stop shop on the centerpiece of this table when I say I was so happy to decorate this table because it came together um, in real life how I kind of planned it in my mind now am I 100% sure if I'm gonna keep it like this not sure just yet only because there are going to be some things that change but this is pretty much what it looks like and just to give you guys another look at where we started at the formal dining before and now here is the final look on a long tonight, i don't need nobody else but me but i'm thinking about the way you
guys, that is what the formal dining looks like currently. I really, really liked how everything turned out. And the more I look at this rug, I'm just falling more and more in love with it. I feel like it pairs well with the chairs and the table. I feel like this style is super cohesive to how we've been styling and the direction we've been going with the rest of the home. So I'm super interested to hear what you guys think about this down in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a really, really, really big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys. <laughs> I forget what I said, someone else.